In 1989, the popular Japanese magazine Famitsu showed some pictures of an early prototype of the Super Famicom and a few games that were in development at the time. The big reveal, of course, being the pictures of a beta version of the new Mario game that would eventually become Super Mario World. But just below those shots were some of another game that launched with the SNES. At the time, the game was called Dragonfly, a game where you fly around as a dragonfly-type robot thing and shoot stuff. The demo eventually evolved into the game we know today as Pilot Wings. Pilot Wings was one of the first games developed for the SNES, and in my opinion, it's still one of the best games the system ever got. Pilot Wings was just so different from anything at the time, or even now for that matter. For some reason, it just had a strange, relaxing quality to it. The graphics in the game are done almost entirely in the SNES's pseudo 3D mode called Mode 7 which was also used in games like F-Zero and the maps for games like Act Razor and Secret of Mana. Very few games on the Super Nintendo use this mode as much as this one, but that's probably for the best. But Pilot Wings managed to pull it off with style. The game does look a bit dated now, but at the time, this was the peak of gaming realism. The game itself is pretty simple. You want to be a pilot, and in order to do that, you need to earn specific licenses. The only way to do that is to score high enough on the test for various airborne craft, including a hang glider, a rocket belt, and of course a small plane. You also have to skydive in some of the levels, which is a nice change of pace. Each course is scored by an instructor, and if your combined total reaches the score needed, then you pass and move on to the next license. It sounds really basic and boring, but it's actually really fun. Each aircraft in the game controls really well, and for once there's a flight game that involves basically no shooting at all. In the later levels, you can fly a helicopter and shoot stuff, but to me, the real fun of this game is the more passive gameplay that makes up the majority of the game. If you really want to fly a helicopter and shoot stuff, then go play Jungle or Desert Strike. You'll probably be happier. One last thing I do want to say, though, is that while I find this game relaxing and fun, I don't think it's very friendly to the casual player. It's not that the controls are complicated or anything, but some of the targets that you need to hit, as far as scores are concerned, are pretty tough. If you're a hardcore gamer, most of the levels will be challenging, but you'll be able to beat them with a little practice. If you're not, then it might be a little tough for you. Pilot Wings did have one sequel on the Nintendo 64, which I'll gush about another time, but the series has mostly been forgotten lately, which is a shame because it seems like it would be a perfect fit for the Wii's motion controls. But even if Nintendo never brings it back, Pilot Wings is one of the best games on the Super Nintendo and well worth tracking down. I'll see you next time on Game Quickie.